for Impact versus Jachi game number two. So let's go into this. As you can see in the upper left-hand corner, we have our Red Zerg player from Axiom Esports. It's Impact here in the upper left-hand corner. So Impact here in the upper left this time, going for that hatchery first. Not really much of a surprise here on Nimbus. And uh, in the lower left-hand side of things, we have Jachi, our blue Lieutenant player. Opening up with a fairly interesting build here himself. So, you know, you might think if you go uh, Command Center first on Overgrowth, may very well just do the same thing on Nimbus because it's a larger map, one of the largest in the map pool next to Deadwing. Um, you know, Command Center first, a great economic opening. If you're happy to do it on Overgrowth, why not do it here on Nimbus? And, you know, that can definitely be true, but at the same time, Jachi just going to change up his playstyle a little bit here. So, he's going to drop this uh, barracks, and uh, already start up with a couple of marines. And the interesting thing is, this isn't just a gas that's expand either. This is a full-on, you know, I'm going to take my gas still, but it's not quite a, uh, it's not going to be a gas for a reaper. It's a 15 gas, and 15 gas is very interesting. It's going to allow him to get a command center down very quickly. It's going to allow him to get a factory up as, uh, well, probably go for a reactor after the second marine. And uh, go from there. Company impact moving across the map with an overlord should be able to save that should the marines go hunting, which is exactly what they're going to do. It's going to be kind of close though. Now uh, the closer he gets to this kind of dead area, yeah, the better. There's that reactor coming down, so he's going to drop his command center in a moment. And in fact, I think this overlord's probably dead here. So impact going to lose this first overlord, and um, that's a little bit unfortunate. It's his second overlord, and uh, going to lose that, and that denies him some scouting information. But he does know it's a kind of couple of marines to start off with, so that kind of limits the number of builds it could be. There's that command center coming down fairly quickly as well, and he should drop the factory next to this barracks as well here. And that's going to allow him to go up to kind of six marines or so before he actually starts hellion production. So he's going to have a good number of marines, and this could definitely lead into another kind of hellbat timing here, where you know you have six marines, you have six hellions, you make them into hellbats. And, you know, it's not as committed as that last push. You can still get a third command center very early on. But you can still do a fair amount of damage. Their marines are great backups as the hell to do some damage. While the hellbats do a lot of tanking in the front as well. Now, four of the zerglings are going to move out here. And they're going to try and catch these marines. Uh, but I'm not sure if he's actually going to be able to kill either of these. As uh, Jachi with two more marines coming out. Uh, Impact going to have to be forced to turn away here. But he will see, you know, these four marines. So he knows four marines are out. And immediately, again, just starting to put things together in his head. Starting to put together the pieces of the jigsaw. Saying, ah, okay, right, well... You know, in that case, if you've got four Marines, you could be hitting me with this, you could be hitting me with that. You know, there's a couple of different things you could be doing here. So, GG. <coughs> so, yeah, I don't know why I said GG. I, I'm, I'm watching the stream and I've just uh, seen people typing in GG as Impact wins that uh, first game. So, uh, sorry about that. Hello to everyone in the stream, by the way. Um, I saw Zillis in here earlier. Hello, Crotail, Revolution, Frunky, Suggester, Zaryoz uh, as well. Cool game from XP Risky. As, uh, let's get back into this. We actually have a couple of Marines moving forward here. Um, a spine crawl on the way down for Impact. He's got a couple of Queens to defend as well. He started to pull his Queen down from the natural. Um, he will fix that very soon. Looks like he mixes up his injects there. Queen's running all over the place. Six Marines here still. As there's that armory about to kick in. And of course, the first couple of Hellions on the way forward here can morph into Hellbats. Now, this spine crawler will help. 16 Lings on the way, 20 Lings on the way. But are they a little bit too late? Is he maybe just not quite expecting this timing right now? Well, our Terran player does turn it around. Uh, where are the Hellions? Okay, they're actually in here dealing with a Zergling, which does see that armory. So, great scouting here by Impact. Sees this straight away. Now, he's got a couple of Hellions to deal with in his main base. Uh, four drones going down, so a little bit troublesome. Doing a little bit of damage there, but uh, cleans it up in the end. And, uh, you know, kill off the first few Hellions is quite big here, quite significant, because considering if Jachi is going to look to go into Hellbat timing, you know, that's two less Hellbats you're not going to have. So, I don't think... Uh, you know, Jack, uh, Impact's going to be too sad about that. As he's going to get the uh, wrap around here. He's already starting to do a fair amount of damage, but he's actually lost it. He's lost the surround, which he had. And uh, Jack's going to be able to come on and uh, just kite backwards now. These Hellions will not go down. A couple of them getting very low on hit points, but we'll just be able to move back into the main and get repaired here. And that was not so great from Impact there. Um, it looked as though he had a surround, but then he seemed to just lose it. Moving these Hellions all the way over here, and they will get repaired up. So not so great for Impact, as he's once again going for this fast Spire. So off of two bases, just opening up with the Spire. This is something we're seeing more and more often in this, um... In this, um... What am I trying to say? Um, in this matchup, in CVT, the two base Spire players, especially in Korea, I mean, we're casting, um, run, we're casting SC2 Improved Team League Finals a couple of weeks ago with Startail versus Cascade. A lot of the Startail Zergs were doing these kind of builds in CVT. Life was doing it, Pet was doing it. And, um, yeah, I mean, it worked well for Impact in game number one. Let's see how it works out here in game two. He will be behind on upgrades. Jachi, a little bit faster on his upgrades this time around, a little bit faster on his third command center too, because, again, he didn't go for as committed of an attack. 
as he did this time around. In fact, I mean, he didn't actually end up committing to an attack at all in this game. There's four Hellions are going to move across here and see what they can get up to as uh, Impact just going to start taking his third base now. So if Jachi moves across here, you'll be able to uh, spot that and again, probably identify some kind of two base tech play going on. So, um... Let's see what happens. These four Hellions moving forward. See, they're going to move in. See this hatchery. Turn around once again. There's Creep's going to be able to start pushing forward for impact as well. He just wants to make sure that he's not doing that right in front of the Hellions. Scan comes down. Sees the Spire. First Mute is on the way. And uh, perfect scan from Jachi to reveal everything that's going on here in game number two of this best of three. A couple of Hellions coming over to this third base. Currently being creeped up by an Overlord. So that's going to be denied for a little while longer here. At least another minute or so. And uh, Jachi now moving his uh, Marines in position to actually deal with that. So Impact going to lose this Overlord. Bane and Ness now on the way. As again, these first Mulisks are on the way out. But Jachi not messing around at all here. A couple of turrets on the way down for him. He's going to drop these couple of turrets. And uh, that's going to put his natural as pretty much defended against Mulisks. And then he only really has to worry about the third and the main. And um, that's not going to be too much of an issue with a decent number of marines out, which he does have. No combat shields, which again, something he kind of forgot for a little while in that last game. And uh, he doesn't have it quite yet here in game two. There it goes. Starts it up right now as these first meters find a way to do a little bit of damage. Actually picking off an STV here. Going to try and get some shots on the tech lab before turning around. And again, they don't want to fight their marines. There's too many of them. And uh, they will fly out here. No losses taken. And that's the most important thing to note here for Impact. Not losing any Mutalisks. Keeping that number high. And again, I mean, if you're investing into these early, you want to keep them alive and make them as useful as possible throughout the entire game. These Marines coming back in over here. As these uh, Mutalisks are going to come back in and uh, snipe a couple more SCVs. Gets two and doesn't lose a Mutalisk. So again, nice little job there by Impact. As Jackie's doing an okay job as well. I mean, it's not the end of the world if he loses a couple of SCVs. Um, and I think, in fact, I actually love this. Starting to move across the map here. Um, try and get some damage done. Because, you know, with this build from uh, from Impact, he has delayed upgrades. So Jackie, if you can hit a 1-1 one -one timing, that's going to be quite important. And again, these moves they're designed very much so to try and defend and try and to keep the turn player back on the back foot. To keep them guessing as to where to go. No bane speed just yet, and this could pr uh, pr uh, prove troublesome for our uh, Zerg players. He loses another Mulus there, flying into this army, but on the plus side, this army has turned around. So it means that he's not actually going to, uh, you know, be under threat here, at least in the very near future. He is about 70 drones. He's making a few more here. And, um,. Again, yeah, by this time for that Bane and Speed, which is going to be ever so important. 1-1 one, one as well, so you'll be able to even up the upgrades before taking the fight here. Of course, Jachi will still be in the lead, and them 2-2 two, two upgrades will kick in in 2 or 3 minutes, so... For now, we see more Marines just coming down this ramp, and Jachi is just, uh... Making a few more Marines, a few more Mines here as well, as uh, these Mules, he hasn't really made too many more Mules from the initial few, I mean, he's made a couple more, and there's a couple more in production right now. Moves out here, and again, just trying to try and pick off a couple of units in the back, and uh, does force quite a big stint there, and uh, force a few of these units to turn around for a couple of seconds, and again, Impact just keeping track of these units with these Mules, so always knows where he's about to fight into. Um, one one's about to finish for him, so if he can get that uh, by like, 10 more seconds for one one to finish, that'd be perfect. As the scan comes down, Jachi can clear up a little bit of creep. First few billions don't get too much done here. As Jachi is going to keep on pushing forward. There's a counterattack coming in though, and that's going to come all the way behind. A few Zerglings running into the middle of nowhere here. There's a few more Zerglings coming across here as well, as uh, this counterattack isn't actually doing all too much. It looks like he's maybe just going to try and come in for the surround here on Jachi's army, or maybe just try and cut off reinforcements. Single mine at the uh, Marine at the tower here, as uh, this fourth base looks as though it could be under threat, and here we go. Some Zerglings going to start coming in. Zerglings from behind as well to try and get that surround. The mines are going off all over the place. A lot of Zerglings getting cleaned out, and the question is here, whoa! Jachi needs to split, and there he goes. Do you see the splits coming in? But he cleans up a lot. The Bane hit's still pretty good. And uh, Jachi gets completely cleaned up here. It looked as though that should have gone quite well for him. But in uh, just lack of splits there right at the end. The surround from Impact doing quite a lot also. And uh, coming in now, these uh, Medivacs are going to run out of speed boost. Fortunately, reinforcements are here just in time to keep them alive. But uh, Impact... Morphing in a bunch more units right now, not messing around at all here, guys. As down the right-hand side of the map, we see another big swell of Zerglings, maybe looking to hit this third base. Uh, maybe a big Bane counterattack here. Uh, looks as though he's on attack move, though, so he's actually just going to come in the front and deal with reinforcements. As uh, Jachi moving up this side, this uh, uh, swell of Zerglings is going to do a great job here as he comes in, gets this around. Mines are going to try and burrow, are they going to go off? Okay, they are, but only on a couple of uh, Zerglings there. Zerglings are actually going to get all the way into the main base. Just run away from that bunker. Doesn't need to fight that. Uh, at the same time, whoa, we actually have a big fight here. And Impact is pushing Jachi all the way back. Uh, some Medivacs getting picked off here as well as the last couple of units getting cleaned up. Some Banans will come up this ramp and they will keep chasing, but they won't quite get any connections. And uh, it'll be this uh, Mutas. You need to kind of move away from this uh, Tech Labs art, uh, factory as the four pops out. And uh, one more Banan moves in here and he will... 
just explode on a marauder. There's still Zerglings all over the place though guys in the main in the natural. So many SCVs are going down. 18 workers killed here and Impact in a great position. Still a single mine over here which has been picking up a couple of kills now and then. But look at this. Impact just already preparing for the next uh, wave of units coming across the map from Jachi. Turret's getting cleaned up in the natural and you know even if he rebuilds those that's minerals going into static defense and not active units on the map. It means Jachi is pinned in his base for even longer. If he does move on, out on the map it's with a less powerful army. Again Jachi is fighting with an upgrade advance here. And uh, Impact looking as though he's trying to take a fight right now. Uh, Cream Spread not so great for him. He's struggling to actually move past this kind of point which has kind of been out for the last five or six minutes. Um, Jachi did clean out a couple of Creep Tumors earlier on which has maybe delayed this. As uh, a couple of dropships do load up here and uh, these Zerglings, they want to turn around. I'd like to actually see Impact just come over here, move a few Banes in. And maybe try and attack into this third base with a bunch of Banelings. Uh, Medivac drops coming over to the right hand side then. As uh, there are then Banelings coming in. So they're going to get sent towards that uh, third base. As uh, there's Zerglings, are they actually going to spot this? Well, the Banelings might spot the Medivacs. What is going to spot these Medivacs is anything? Oh, I think they might just stay out of vision range, and they do. So Jachi's double drop is hidden right now, and uh, Impact getting ready to come in from the top side as these Banes are going to hit in the bottom, but Jachi spots it with the Medivac, so he sees this coming in already, stimming some uh, units forwards. These Banes are going to strike in and uh, open up this attack path in towards the third base, even if they don't kill any SCVs just yet. And now Impact actually coming all the way over to the right-hand side. I think this drop has may have been spotted by a Zergling or so, as it looks as though he's pretty content, uh, or pretty uh, sure that something's over here. Yeah, he's definitely looking for them dropship. So he knows these are over here. He's just not quite sure where exactly they are. As there, these middle is going to head to the right hand side and uh, just move down. And uh, again, still looking for these drops. He knows they must be somewhere. He knows they're not quite on his side of the map just yet. And uh, right now they are on a collision course with those medevacs. So these medevacs in a little bit of trouble here. And here we go. Medevacs going to go down. That's two full dropships going down here. Impact taking a big victory there. As um, Bailey and Zerglings coming in and uh, doing a little bit more damage at this third base. And um, Impact going to lose a few more Zerglings here. Jachi is continuing to take so much damage though. Still fairly even on army supply. 3-3 three, three on the way for him as well. And 2-2 two, two, only just about to finish up for Impact. Infestation pit on the way. So looking as though he's ready to transition into that hive tech. And head into his 3-3. Three, three, but that won't be ready for a long time. And with a little bit of a concave here. We're going to see Impact come in from multiple angles. The mines take a while to burrow. But they do get some good shots off. Marines continuing to chase forward. And it looks as though Impact just has way too much. Jachi gets into a really great position. But there's just so many Mutalists. So many Balans from the other side as well. And these Mutalists are just going to keep marching forwards. The Bane is going off on everything in the mineral line. 13 more workers killed. GG is called. And 2-0 is the scoreline here in our first series of the day. So Impact moves on.